Okay, moving on to section 13.8, uh, introduction to complex numbers. Um, we enter a whole new realm of numbers um, called the imaginary numbers and then the complex numbers. Uh, by definition, the, the i is equal to the square root of negative 1. Now, you might want to research that a little bit on the internet or watch some videos about imaginary numbers on YouTube, um, but I'm going to show you how to approach these problems for simplifying them now that we know that the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So since we know the square root of negative 1 is equal to i, we can think about this, and I'm not going to break this down each time like this, but we have the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 25. And then what we get here is we get i times 5. But what we want to do is write that out as um, 5i. Okay. Then looking at the square root of uh, negative 200, we can spot that <laughs> negative sign in there. We know there's going to be an i involved uh, with this answer. And then we can approach the, the, the 200 how we've done before. And we can think of that as the square root of 100 times the square root of 2, and then the square root of 100 is 10, so we have 10 radical 2i. Okay. Now sometimes you'll see this written as 10i uh, radical 2, which is also acceptable, so both of these are acceptable answers. Okay. Seems like the Hawk system likes this one a, a little bit better. Now taking a look at the uh, square root of negative 98, we know because this this uh, negative sign is in here that we're going to have an i involved. And then we can break down the square root of negative 98 into 49. And 2. And then don't forget your negative sign up front. So we have negative 7 square root of 2i. Right. And then the last one here, there's not much we can do with that one. Uh, 23 is a prime number, but we spot the negative uh, inside there. And so we'll have radical 23i. Okay. Be careful here. Um, make sure that the radical ends right here. It doesn't go over the i. Okay. That's it for the first part of 13.8.